uh, once we began to bring back the abilities we came with, they aren't extrasensory, they are abilities that have atrophied, we just don't, you haven't used them, and so they're dormant. But as the energy comes in through our crown chakra, it comes down that column of light. In, at, in the past, this past time, it's been just like a little stream of light, you know, almost like a string of light. But as we progress and we radiate and integrate higher frequencies, it becomes wider and wider, okay? And so when it comes down through, it's going to activate the pineal and the pituitary and also it's going to open the sacred mind and then it's going to follow that path ring. it's going to begin to go down the column of light and begin to open it up very gradually and so that we can move into the sacred heart but see uh, it's with that opening to channel too it's very important that mid fourth dimension is a critical stage each dimension has different um, rules it, it, there are different lessons different frequencies, different tests. I mean, it's like a different world. And so the astral planes are those first three dimensions, and that's the mass consciousness. That's, that's like, that's almost like our hell. <laughs> because all the negativity and all of the past thoughts and everything. And so uh, for a long time, people, when they, when they died, they went to the astral planes before, you know, before then they could get, they could go through and get to whatever area they went through. But, but the astral planes were very important, and people were channeling mostly only from the astral planes, and that's where it really went awry. There were very few masters or old souls old enough that they could move past that and get up into what you might say the pure, the purer light. And we also had that ring past knot. In other words, the contamination that the earth had created, we were in uh, we were in quarantine, so that that would not go out and contaminate the rest of the solar system. Well, that was all changed. That's all changed now. The rain pass not gone, and those three lower astral planes are clearing, uh, and they're not bad. They just need to be brought back, and they they are they're almost clear. They we're doing very well. There's still some there, but it's not like it was, and so people now will have the ability to, first of all, the first thing that you're going to channel, that you're going to get information, your intuitive self is your soul self. It'll begin to nudge you, you know, that conscience, your conscience, don't do that, you shouldn't do that or you'll feel bad, you know, you get the feeling in your solar plexus. And so that's kind of the first thing, but people don't always listen to it. And then they may start to get some ideas uh, that are kind of unique. Uh, Michael said it's really interesting that for thousands of years, most people never had a unique individual thought of their own. They were in the herd state. They were just following after everybody else. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. And, and, and family, culture, tradition, you know, race and so on, religion. But now people are beginning to tap into their sacred mind, which has their history. It's, a, it's very uh, condensed, it's very refined, but the abilities, all of the history, the experiences, it's all there. And more and more people are going to start getting information. And all I will say is uh, there are people who aren't spiritual, who came in with the ability to um, the clairvoyant, clairaudience, clairsentience. does not necessarily mean you're spiritual. It's something that they came in with or they developed it by whatever means, and it hasn't always been used in a positive way. And so the parameters that Archangel Michael said is it expansive? Is it loving? Is it, uh, uh, it, it shouldn't be flattering. It should be um, of value. And uh, it should never, there should never be commands or that you have to do something. Uh, and uh, it should always be informative. It should always be informative, not just flowery uh, and, uh, for the, you know, like uh, um, boosting the ego. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a lot of people call me and they have called me in the past and asked, and I said, I do not do readings anymore. When I started, I did them every day, uh, five days a week, um, with Archangel Michael and then uh, astrological overviews. And so I say, I don't do them any longer because Archangel Michael said, I am to teach the masses. And they said, well, who can you suggest? And I said, I suggest you. Because that's where, as long as we depend on someone else, it's okay to have a reading, that's fine, to help along, but people, a lot of people keep, just like with Michael's message, I won't do more than one.
because he gives them what they need. And they need to go from there and begin to get their own messages because the longer you depend on someone else, the more dependency you will have and then you're not going to develop your own abilities and your own unique talents and it, the information will come directly and it won't be diluted by someone else's energy or someone else's thought form because it's always, uh, you might say, distorted a little bit by the person who's uh, doing the channeling. Okay? And so it's very important because opening to channel tells you how to begin the steps to take but while it's doing that it's also helping you to lift your consciousness, clear the chakras, balance and harmonize your energy frequency patterns. It will help you move through all of those tests and challenges much faster because you have to do that in order to begin to channel. So it, it does a lot more than just help you to channel. Okay. Awesome.